Hi, so hi my friends. I haven't done this in a while, so I thought I would do it today. I got some new stuff for Christmas. I wanted to try it out. Um, I am going to paint a watercolor today. So I'm using Van Dyke Brown Core Watercolors by Golden. Okay, that is this right here. You don't need a whole lot when you actually go use this type of stuff. It's really, really, really potent. Uh, and this is Permanent Scarlet by Core Watercolors. And that looks like this. It's almost orange. Okay. And then I have Cobalt Teal Core Watercolors, which is also by Golden, which apparently I like Golden, right? I don't, I didn't really plan it that way, but I am. Okay. So I am going to spray these. I'm also using some new paper that I got. I got this Paul Rubens watercolor wet and block, which means that this is gummed on the side. So you don't have to tape it down, which I absolutely love, love, love. Okay. So I wanted to paint some patterns and I wanted to limit my palette to these three colors. And I got this brand new brush, which is a number four Princeton Neptune, and it's a quill. Quill means that it soaks up so much, and it's this shape. It is so fantastic. So I'm going to use it today, and I'm going to make some flowers. So I'm getting some water on my brush, and I'm going to paint with water real quick. So you can't even tell what I'm doing, I bet. Then I'm going to get a little bit of this red and I'm going to put it in the middle of it and see where it goes. Ooh, I like it. All right. So I'm going to do, well, it looks like I'm going to do another one right here. Okay. And I'm going to try really hard today to not go off the edge, which is what I normally do. Okay. Um, and the reason why is I think I'm going to try to make this into a scarf pattern, which I've never done before, but I wanted to try it out. And I thought, thought wait, why don't you all just watch too? Okay. And you see when you're painting flowers like this, you do not have to have like um, anything drawn out. You're just doing it. Okay. So. I like that and I'm going to let that sit. But did you see how much water that was? Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Okay, so I'm going to get me some red. I do get so excited. And I'm going to come in here and just plop it in. That's a real technical word. Plop it in to see if I can't get some of these highlights. Hey, Tracy. And so now I'm going to come in and just put, I'm just dotting. I don't even have to do a whole lot. I'm just doing a little bit. And I plan to make this really short and sweet. So hopefully this won't be long and it'll look like something soon. All right. So while I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, I'm going to come over and I'm going to get me some teal. Now, the reason I'm using these colors is because my friend who wants this scarf, her business is actually in these colors so i'm putting in a little bit of this teal here to see if i can't now she's a ballroom dancer so what she really wants me to do oh there's a bleed and i don't care if that's bleeding i'm just going to do it anyways yeah do it anyways now i want you to notice so these are smaller than these big flowers. Okay. So I'm trying to get small, medium, and large. So right now I'm doing large and I'm doing medium. Okay. So, and I'm just adding in, now I think I'm going to add some squiggles. Now who knows what this is going to look like, but I think I'm ready to go back to red. All right. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to red and I'm going to come in and plop it in the middle and along one side. Okay. Now, if you follow me, you know that I absolutely love pin work. So what I'm thinking is, 
is that I will paint this little watercolor nice and airy and then I will go on top of it with some line work of ballroom dancers since that's what she wants this for. Now I have this vision. I don't know if it's actually going to pop out, but that's what the goal is anyways. Now you're going like, well, why do you have that brown there? And the reason I have that brown, so I'm just going to come get it, is to add a little bit of dimension to those flowers. You see those? It's actually coming and actually getting a little bit darker now. All right, so I'm going to come in and just, her colors are not brown. She would probably go, why are we using brown? But can you tell it's brown? Now this has almost got too much water for me. So I'm actually going to change brushes. So I'm changing brushes to the Escada. And um, it is looks like a number eight round brush. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to actually take some of this teal and a little bit of this brown and add it together to get a fourth color. You see that? All right. So there I'm going to go add, look at that pretty green. Just adding a little bit. And when you're doing leaves, you don't have to actually work too hard to get the leaf shape because your brush does it for you, which is so fantastic. I am going to hope to do this on a regular basis. So on Tuesday mornings at 10, I plan to go live and to see if I can't make something real fast. So basically, I just want to practice once a week making really short videos short videos 20 minutes or less it's got all ways to go doesn't it um for me to actually make something now i'm pulling in some major red here like i don't have much water on my brush but i'm letting it do the work for me now what i'm noticing about this paper is that it soaks up this water like a sponge so i don't have too much control over it which is a good thing or a bad thing so if you're a person who likes a lot a lot of details then you don't want so much water you want to be able to have more paint and so that's something to know when you're actually picking out paper like or to even design with. Now that's getting a little much for me. So I'm going to actually pull that back. So what I've done is dry. I'm drying my brush and I'm coming in and I'm just pulling it out like that. Okay. So I'm going back to my teal and I'm adding it on one side to each one of these. Now, I am thinking I want little baby. Mm, you know what? We're going to go to a smaller brush. This is a number two Simply Simmons brush. I use this in my kits. I use this in my classes, which hopefully there's a link showing about my classes. And right now I'm going to just add little baby dots. One, two, three, four. They're almost like little, um, well, I want them to be little lines that look like flowers. So I'm just kind of coming in and making globs. That's all I'm doing. Now, I think we need some red of those. Again, we're making a pattern and we're making small, medium, and large. So I'm going to come in and go... Now, the thing about this red is that it is so bright. I'm going to make these more round, kind of like flower, like um, roses or flowers. So they're just kind of like C's. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not really holding my, uh, my paintbrush really tight. It's really small, like 
loose loosey goosey is like i like to say all right getting there i'm liking the way this is looking a little bit better so i'm going to take my brown now and if you get scared with your brown being so potent or brown or too dark what you can do is you can come down here and you can put it on like this is an actual dry erase board that i use and i'm going to just add a little dot to the center of these and you see how that makes that look like it's got a little flower all right i like it now let's see if i can't fix some of these that's so wet oh boy it's so wet all right we're gonna let that sit then we're gonna come back down here to the green i want some green so how did we make that green we added brown and we added some teal to it okay oh boy that was a lot of brown maybe i should have done less there we go all right so it's dirty green and i'm going to come in to some of these green ones and add just on one side of them and i don't know if you noticed but it's not always in the same area like i'm just kind of outlining them i'm not doing too much to them so what i'm going to do is come in and see that right there add a little bit of these dots which i can't say that i love but what if i came in here to make some of these darker on the inside now that i could get on board with you see i'm playing with pattern and shape and basically i've got three things big medium and small okay and i think i am going to add a little bit of brown to these little lines all right so what i plan on doing with this is scanning this in and then manipulating it on the computer and trying to make a pattern out of it now i don't know if you i'm adding some extra red around these little ones basically making them just a little bit bigger oh that was pretty isn't it oh that's such a pretty color all right nice liking that better a little bit brighter mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think i'm going to do the same with this i like the way those look so i'm just adding a little bit more pizzazz more and if you haven't noticed it's on one side of the actual flower petals it's not on both okay so i still want to fix this a little bit so i'm coming in on these with some pure color and seeing if i can't get some definition to some of these petals now that's what i'm talking about you see that mm -hmm, that was pretty kind of looks like a hawaiian hawaii now see this one right here is almost too wet to do anything with one of the things i like about this but i do like about this paper is that it's not buckling very so that is fantastic but boy is it holding on to that water which is i guess a good thing I was checking to see what time it is. Like I said, I wanted to do this for only like 20 minutes and see what I could come up with in 20 minutes. I like giving myself a little bit of a time constraint because then it literally, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to add a little bit of this teal into this right here. Now the reason I did that was because I want to make it cohesive, like the the colors all kind of go together. But you see how by adding that, it just made it a little bit more greener. All right, so I've added some lines there. I like that, and 
I'm taking some brown and just giving myself some lines on the edges. And it's helping define some of these edges of this flower. Now, I'm liking that a lot better. That one's a little, little too much. So I'm going to just take it out. I basically, I scrub it. I have a dry brush. And I just scrub it in. Now, these flowers are bothering, or leaves. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're so wet. But I am liking... I'm liking the, the color palette, I think. I don't know if I like the um, brown green. What do y'all think? I don't know. Let's see if I can't add that brown in here instead of the green. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. But this has been fun. And hopefully you can join me next week when I go and I do this again. I want to paint flowers and more. So I'm not promising that I'll always do a flower. And I'm not promising I'll always do it in watercolor. I may get out some acrylic paints because I do love that so very much. But watercolor is so easy to actually just like pick up and do. It's not a lot of cleanup which I need. For the people who know me, you know I am a mess. And my husband loves to remind me how messy I am. Okay. Getting there. I don't like how that blended, but in the computer program, I could take that and I could change that, I think. Um, hmm. I'm going to go back to some red. See if I can't again add a little bit more to the edges here of some of these flowers. You see, by just adding a little bit, it just defines that. And I love the fact that the water is what defines these cool little flowers, like the edges. Now, I'm coming into the middle center to make that a little bit darker with that red because, you know, it would go in, which it already kind of naturally did when we added the brown, but I'm just adding a little bit more. Okay, I'm liking that. I like it. I like it a lot. And just a little bit more of this green. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I think I could dry this and add my line work to it. You all want to see that? I don't know. I'd have to dry it first, which is can be done. I think that's too close there. I wish that was, this would need some help, doesn't it? What if we take out? So dry brush, bigger brush, See if we can't just take out so i'm subtracting now it just soaks up that petal color to see if i can't add a highlight or just to take out some of that water and that may help this now the where i'm doing it is actually like if i had a petal that's actually blooming so there's a highlight on each one of these so that's what i'm taking away where the petal would fold over oh, and this one's so pretty i like this one a lot all right that definitely helped that one now what i can do is come back in with some red see if i can't define that just a little bit hmm. i like that a lot better okay so this is week one of 2023 Drawing with Megan, painting with Megan, paint flowers and more with me every Tuesday. 
at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I will put this on my YouTube channel. And I may put a little bit of this in the reels, but I can't. I don't know. I like that teal color a lot. Okay. I think I like it. Now, remember I said I didn't want to go outside the edges. So that's kind of a problem, but I think we can make it work. And what do y'all think? Tell me in the comments if you like it or not. I would love to hear what you think. And, or tell me like, oh my gosh, this is not good at all. I don't care. Uh, the key is, is that it was practice and it was fun and light and airy. And now I have something. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. <laughs> Just by adding that little brown line there. Ooh, isn't that fantastic? That's like some pure color there. To add a little bit of that texture. Now, I want you to know it also fades right like it's never as dark as you put it down so that will dry a little bit Ooh, that's pretty okay i like that so much better now i can stop so if you want to you can come to one of my classes in gallatin or old hickory and you can see that in the link or you can sign up for my newsletter that would be fantastic too, where you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. And I hope to see you next week. But um, go to meganbaileygill.com slash hi to see all the links. Thank you.